Well, one man driving for a rideshare company found himself in a very dangerous situation. He says he was carjacked at gunpoint while heading to pick up a rider. WDS reporter Ariel Brumfield obtained video of the moments leading up to the armed carjacking incident and what happened afterwards. Ariel? Well, that man I spoke to, very shaken up, never expected to experience something like this. And obviously he was scared, but he's just thankful he's alive. This man who did not want to be identified for safety reasons says he was driving for Uber last Sunday around midnight, getting ready to pick up another rider when he found himself with a gun pointed to his head. Three of them come out of call and point a gun at me and tell me get out of the car. He says he was driving on the 1000 block of Dublin and to avoid the potholes and the narrow street, he decided to back up. In this video, you see him driving backward in his white Acura MDX. Slowly, another white sedan passes him and that's when everything began to unfold. However, there's a vehicle uh, going before me and turn around before me and blocking the road for me going forward. He says the car blocked him in and three of the four masked men jumped out with guns telling him to give up his car. Struggling to find the keys, he tells me they called him back to the car to find the keys and then took off. The, I, I would never, ever, ever think that happened to me. So it happened and it's scary because them young we all know that they, they don't care. They just for anything. NOPD confirmed St. Bernard Sheriff deputies arrested two of the men for being in possession of the car. It's now a total loss. He says despite this very scary situation, he's not giving up so quickly. I'm going to let them scare me from making my money to pay my bill. And an Uber spokesperson released this statement saying, quote, the driver underwent a frightening experience at the hands of malicious third party individuals and hope police will swiftly track down and apprehend those responsible. We have been in touch with him to check on his well-being and offer support. And NOPD tells me this is still an ongoing investigation. Reporting live on Dublin, I'm Ariel Brumfield, WDSU News. All right, Ariel, thank you. And in the first 30 days.